Hi, so here we have a question about um, using a tan line approximation um, for a twice differentiable function and finding out what property of the function guarantees that the approximation will be an underestimate than the actual value of the function um, at a point further on down the line. Um, and so we have four options. It, to guarantee an underestimate using a tan line, does the function need to be de uh, decreasing, increasing, concave up, or concave down? Um, now, you can have functions that do both, right? So here I have an example of a graph that is concave down and uh, decreasing on the interval. And here I have an example of a graph that is concave up and decreasing on an interval. Um, but you know, one of, one of them is the case, one of these four. We want to find out which one. So we're going to basically eliminate the wrong options until we're left with one, and then we'll use our intuition to figure out why that's the case. So let's plot on this first graph. Um, this is actually just the top half of a circle with radius four. Um, let's plot the tan line at x equals three. So it's here. It will look something like... Uh, it's going to be a rough approximation. I'm kind of doing it by eye here, but yeah, it'll look something like this. And you'll note that at 3.25, or really, um, you might it actually might be better to note that at every point except for x equals 3, the tan line approximation is greater than the actual value at that point. Every point is higher. Um, every point that exists on the function is less than the matching point on the tan line. So 3.25, if I can get a smaller marker, on the function is, is lower than the uh, value of the tan line approximation at that point. And so here, to have a, an underestimate, well, the, uh, what we have here is an overestimate. So concave down functions can't cause this underestimate. They can't be, they can't be a necessity for an underestimate. So we'll get rid of the concave down option. And also, we have that the graph is decreasing on, um, on this interval. So that must not be a necessity for an underestimate. So now we're left with, um, is it necessary for the function to be increasing or for it to be concave up? Well, we have a concave up and decreasing graph here. So we're going to use the, uh, we're going to use what we see here to determine which uh, one is the true answer. So we'll plot our uh, tan line at x equals 3, which is, I'll extend that and then reach it down a little bit. So it looks something like this. And in fact, we do have at every point um, between uh, 0 and, uh, well, off to infinity, our approximation is going to be, oops, um, our approximation is going to be under the actual value of the function at that point, right? So everywhere where there is, uh, everywhere between zero and infinity where there is the tan line, it is less than. So here at 3.25, um, it's kind of tough to see, especially since the line is so thick. But if the line only, if, the, if it's truly a tangent line, it only touches the function at one point, And at every other point, you can see that it's less than. So it'll be less than at 3.25 compared to the actual value of the function. So concave up and decreasing allows us to have an underestimate. Well, the function here is not increasing, so we can cancel that one out. So all that's necessary is that the function is concave up. So that's your answer. And why is that? Well, we kind of touched on that a second ago, right? Um, the tan line approximation only touches a graph at... Uh, one point before diverging. Maybe it touches again later, but at the point of approximation. So when it's concave down, that line is above the graph everywhere except at the point of contact. So obviously it's going to be an overestimation, but when you have a concave up function, the line will always be under the graph or an underestimate except at the point of uh, estimation. So that's why the function is concave up on the interval guarantees that its tan line approximation will be an underestimate.